hello guys so today 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 i am going to okay i've been three i've been doing youtube for three years so um today i just want to tell you guys how the journey has been and how i feel and my advice to like small youtubers and people who want to begin youtube and something like that so i'm going to begin by saying i feel like a loser it has been like three years three years yeah so i began youtube in 2021 and currently we are in 2023 december that's just like three years in youtube my first video that i posted on youtube was a comedy video and it got a hundred views till now it still has a hundred views three years later it has it still has like 300 views and my most viewed video has 1.7 1.7k views only that is a youtuber who has been in youtube for three years and i was expecting a little bit more i was expecting like something so different when i began youtube but i feel like nothing is happening right i'm not being monetized i'm not getting subscribers i am not getting anything literally so <clears throat> right now i have like 1000 and 87 subscribers that is after three years three years guys three years that is 365 days times three days and i still have 1087 subscribers so i feel like i haven't been doing my best but i don't want to like overthink it or blame myself literally because i cannot be able to change the situation right so i am going to tell you that when I began YouTube, I thought I was going to get money. I thought I was going to make like a lot of money. I was so convinced. I was like, when I open a YouTube channel, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna succeed. I'm gonna get money. Like I'm gonna get all of that. But it wasn't like the way I expected. I'm not gonna lie. So when I began the YouTube channel, I met a YouTuber. When I joined campus, Maseno University, I got a friend he's called Cyril he has a YouTube channel a YouTube channel and he is a comedian so I thought like wow I can also be a comedian so why don't I just do comedy right and I thought like I'm all round I can do everything I can pull off anything right so I began with comedy and that was the first video I did so what happened is like he invited me at his place I was supposed to do content for his channel but then I was like if I'm doing it for his channel I'm gonna go download the same video and post it on my channel because I was featuring in the video that's what I did. I, I, I tried comedy and the video got 100 views only. I haven't even reached like 2000 watch hours, guys. And it's like three years in YouTube. And you know, you have to like, you have to get 4000 watch hours for you to be monetized. You can imagine the difficulties, but that is a story for another video. So I began and I was so excited. I, my first uh, number of subscribers was 27 subscribers. And the mistake I think I made, guys, was I did not have like a very good foundation. I did not know what I wanted to do on YouTube. I just opened a YouTube channel because of peer pressure. Not peer pressure. Obviously, when I joined campus, I did not want to be a French translator like totally. But... As time went by, like two, three days into campus, I was like, let me just be a French translator and interpreter. It's not going to kill me anyway. So I said, just because I'm doing my course does not mean I cannot be like, able to do something else that I like. I love entertainment. So I was like, let me open a YouTube channel. And I was so passionate about it. Considering I wanted to be a journalist when I was like in secondary school or primary school, yeah. So the first thing, the first mistake I made, I don't have a foundation. I did not know what I wanted to do on YouTube. I just opened a YouTube channel and I was focused on getting subscribers and doing all of that. That was my first mistake. I just opened a YouTube channel and I just started posting. Then the second thing is I started going with the wind. I saw some YouTuber posting loyalty tests. So I thought it was trending because they say you should post what is trending. So I started posting that. But I could not be able to keep up with that because I was not ready. And I didn't have like the resources and everything, finances, I was not ready. And to, to upload a video, like uploading a 10 minute video, not let me say 15 minute video, is about 1.5 GB. 
right so if you do not have a wi-fi definitely it's kind of difficult to be able to uh, upload a video without difficulties and if you have tried uploading a video using data mobile data you know that when once someone calls you it starts again it starts over so it's a little bit difficult i did not also know about copyright and stuff like that i just thought like once you've mentioned uh musician once or twice if you don't mention them in the next three videos it's all gonna be like wrong but then i was a little bit i went through a lot guys so i'm gonna be talking about also support support from people you should also know who is supporting you i began my youtube channel and i was thinking like let me just go to my classmates let me go to friends people who know me and they're going to subscribe and they're going to watch my videos what i realized guys according to the analyst analyst <laughs> anal analysis of my youtube channel sorry guys analysis of my youtube channel is that i was i did not I, no one no one no one my subscribers are not watching my videos and i was focused so much on the subscribers because i thought when you have many subscribers it is the best thing right but then subscribers not matter guys it's how people watch your videos the views the comments and every other thing so i was focusing on the subscribers and everybody was subscribed everybody around me was subscribing but they were not supporting me so look for friends who can support you people who are going to watch your YouTube channel i had like all like around to five friends who watch my channel literally and like literally support me and consistency guys i posted videos and i used to lose hope like literally after five minutes i'm like why am i not getting views and i stopped posting literally so consistency is very important and then my advice now my advice to young small youtubers or if you want to open a youtube channel know what you want to do know what you want to do on youtube is it comedy is it lifestyle is it, is it fashion is it makeup is it what are you doing on youtube to make sure you are stable with the finances you, you so that you can be able to post videos in a very consistent way be consistent and also get support from people who are really good friends subscribers do not worry so much about subscribers just keep on posting and posting and posting so that you can hit the 4000 watch hour mark so apart from that guys i think that's what i can say and i hope i'm gonna be telling and sharing more with you guys so thank you for watching the video i'll be creating more and more content i started a vlogmas uh video it's gonna be airing for 30 days into january so Anyway, thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye.